this breaking input is an is a CNN News 18's exclusive news break. Now, in an interesting development, spokesperson for the Chinese Foreign Ministry has extended congratulations to Pakistan. Now, they congratulated Pakistan's government for conducting its general elections for the national and provincial assemblies in a manner described as steady and smooth. Now, regarding the delay in government uh, formation. Uh, Ning repeated China's stance of respecting the Pakistani people's decision and urged relevant parties to maintain unity in addressing pertinent issues. So these are the latest inputs that we have we've been getting in. And according to top Pakistan government uh, sources, this important development is coming in as China is claiming first stake in the political development. Now, China's statement is out of turn to calm down the controversy going on due to the election rigging. Now, this statement is against Bilawal and Imran Khan and China's problem is instability due to this and their CPEC is at stake. So, this is also a major endorsement to General Asim Muni and clear signal that what Whatever army has done is absolutely correct. So these are the latest inputs that we are getting in. In an interesting development, spokesperson for the Chinese Foreign Ministry has extended congratulations to Pakistan. And in their congratulatory message, they've said that Pakistan government is, should be congratulated for conducting its general elections for the national and provincial assemblies in a manner which is described as steady and smooth. Now joining us on the broadcast is our colleague Abhishek Jha. A very good morning Abhishek. An interesting development coming in uh, from China especially pertaining to the Pakistan's elections which saw a lot of political drama over the last few weeks. What more details are we gathering? Uh, over China, while the world is watching very uh, cautiously uh, the political development in Pakistan, uh, Chinese side, because of its very strong ties with uh, the Pakistan, they have expressed uh, their, uh, you know, the, the commentary. And the spokesperson has said that whatever uh, has happened in Pakistan is the choice of people, and they will respect their choice of voting. And whoever will be in power, they'll be uh, having God uh, uh, and the work regarding the China-Pakistan development. Uh, this is coming at a time when we have seen US, UK, EU and other countries expressing their apprehension as to whether the rigging accused by PTI and other opposition members in Pakistan were right or not, whether the entire political uh, exercise was fair, transparent and giving equal uh, footing to all the opposition leaders. Because PTI in the past has alleged that they were not given enough time or enough uh, you know, uh, resources or, or uh, level playing field uh, to contest election. And that's another reason why uh, they have not won as the final uh, largest party. We know still that the PTI back members form the largest bloc of independent candidates in Pakistan, but they are still short of making a government. And Pakistan is still uh, witnessing some kind of uncertainty as to who will become the prime minister and how the coalition government will work in Pakistan. Right, Abhishek. Thank you so much for bringing in all those details. We'll keep coming back to the story as the day progresses and we get more reaction on this. But right now, we are, uh, we are slipping into a very short break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.